Our English lesson today will cover the topic of the phrase there is and there are. Very often we're confused as to how do we use this phrase and what do we emphasize by using this phrase. So we use there is or there are to talk about people or things usually for the first time and to emphasize the fact that those things or people actually exist. So let's look at our two examples here. The first one, there are two students from Mexico in my class. So we use the phrase there are since we talk about people but in the plural form. So since it's plural, we are using the form are. The next example, there is a post office near my house. So we talk here about a post office, which is one thing, it's a singular form, post office, singular one. And because of that, we are using the form is. Is one, there are two things, it's a plural form. We use the form there is, when we talk about the non-count nouns. Those are the ones that are only used in singular, always are used as one. And I have here four different sentences. The first two are affirmative sentences, in other words, positive, and the next two are negative. And let's look at those examples. The first one, there is so much useful information in this book. We have the word information, and that is a non-count noun. Therefore, I'm using there is. The next one, there is a lot of snow outside. Again, snow is a non-count noun, and therefore, I'm using the phrase there is. And the next two sentences are example of negative forms. In order to create a negative form, we would just add the negative particle not, and the form will sound, there isn't. There isn't any milk in the refrigerator. So milk is a non-count noun, and we are using the form there isn't. And the last one here is there isn't any traffic on my street. So we have the word traffic, and the word traffic is a non-count noun, and we use the form there isn't. So remember, if you have non-count nouns, like for example, information, snow, milk, traffic, those nouns are used also with the phrase there is. Whenever the phrase there is or there are is followed by two or more nouns, Usually, the verb, the form is or are, would agree with the noun that is the first. For example, let's look here. There is a laptop and a phone on my desk. So, since the phrase is followed by a singular noun, one laptop, we use is. Again, the next. There is coffee and tea on my table. So we have coffee, again, singular, because it's a non-count noun, and non-count are always singular. Again, we are going to use is. Our next example sounds like that. There are some cookies, chocolate, and juice in the kitchen. So we have cookies, and that's a plural form. It's not one, it's many, and therefore, instead of is, we're going to use are. So remember, if it's followed by a singular, we would use is, but if the phrase is followed by a plural noun, we would use the form are. When it comes to the negative form, there are two ways of how you can express it. The first way is there is no, and the second way is there isn't any. The same applies for the plural form. There are no or there aren't any. And let's look at our examples. So for the singular, I've used the word homework, homework, non-count noun, which is one, one, singular. There is no homework tonight. 
or you can say there isn't any homework tonight and when it comes to the plural form we have the word classes plural form so you can say there are no classes on saturday or there aren't any classes on saturday if you want to ask a question in the form there is and there are the part to be which is is or are comes to the front so when you ask the question about the singular form you would start with is there and when you ask the question about the plural noun you would start with are there and let's take a look at our examples so the first one is there a bank in the town again we talk about the singular form a bank one therefore you use is is there and the answer could be positive which is yes there is or negative which is no there isn't the next sentence is the plural form are there two exits in the building again we have here exits it's a plural form therefore we use are so the positive answer would be yes there are and the negative answer is no there aren't so remember when you start the sentence with the question about the singular form you use is there when you would love to ask the question about the plural noun you would start with the phrase are there there is another way to ask a question about the specific number so we are using the phrase how many for example how many parks are in this city and the answer consists of the phrase either there is or there are so the answer for this question could be with a singular form where we use there is or it could be with a plural form where we use there are so it could be there is just one park so one and therefore we are using is or the plural form there are four parks four and we're using are so again the question could be different depending whether we are using singular there is or we are using plural form there are that was the end of our lesson thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to our page so you don't miss any future lessons from highlands community charter and technical schools Bye -bye.